Problem number four. So, <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> so, write a program that draws a staircase of width and height 200, where the number of stairs can be set in code as the value of a variable. So, well, we need a variable called number of stairs and let's set it to let's say 10. Now when we draw the stairs, well we need to repeat something. How many times? Well, number of stair times. Number of stairs mm. times. So what do we do? We need to move forward a certain amount. Yeah, but how much? Since the width and height is both 200, we would need 200 divided by the number of stairs. And we need to turn right 90 degrees, we move forward another 200 divided by the number of stairs. And then we need to turn left. Mm -hmm. Does the job. A little bit of repetition here, why not? Give this a name, the step height, and this is 200 numbers, or step size, because it's both si both height and width. So let's put it here, so it gets calculated only once, not every time we draw a new step. So, mm -hmm. let's change the number of stairs, number of steps, steps, not stairs, the stairs, the whole, no, the whole thing is a staircase, a single stair, yeah, stairs. So the stairs, a step is not a, yeah. So let's change the number of stairs to maybe, uh, yes, 20. Still works. 50. Three. There you go. Number B, modify your program so that the number of stairs is taken as user input. So we need to put in how many stairs would you like? And that's it. How many do you want? 15, there you go. Number C, staircase, close the staircase and fill it in green. Well, so let's see. Well, we need to move down, but if you see the last command is turning left 90. So at the top of the staircase, we face north. So we need to turn right. And now we can move forward, how much, well, the stair height. And then we need to turn right another 90 and forward another 200. Uh, oh yes, yes, um, 15. Mm -hmm but it's not yet filled, so we need a we need a start path. Oh, we need a fill color. And here we fill the path. There you go. Now this program is functional, it does what we want. Um, one last thing is that this, the height of the staircase 
appears at three, in three different places. Maybe later we want to change the program, make a larger staircase, so it would be nice to, that we can change it just in some at one point. So let's call it staircase height, 200, and then this is, uh, then we just replace. There you go. And if you want a bigger staircase, we can just change that here. Whoa, it, well, no longer fits. Wait. Uh huh, yeah, all right. So, last one. Modify your program so that the staircase is closed with the second staircase just below it. So the filling is taken out. Oh, let's keep it in. Uh, so, but still, these parts here need to be changed a little bit. Need to be changed. So, yeah, we still need to turn half in the other direction south. But then we move move forward. Well, twice the step, the stair size. And then we build another staircase. So a repeat number of stairs. And what do we, well, well, we just copy and paste, of course, code repetition. Uh, in a moment, I will fix that. Uh, right now, it's not really clear where we are left at the end here. How, whether we need to turn and move to close this. Yeah, there will be some little gap. But right now, I can't really imagine how this works. So let's just test the program to see what needs to be done. So, yeah. Wait, no. Whoop. Smaller staircase. What? Mm. Ah, yes, yes. Um, so we've moved at this point. We've moved twice, uh, two steps down, and then the first part of the staircase is move one more up. So we actually don't need this. And it, uh, it's not quite what we want. It ends with a downward bit, but it should end with an up with a horizontal bit. So what is going on is that we are doing one step too much, one stair too much. So we need to do one less repetition. And now it closes. Uh, let's just see how this looks if we don't fill the path. If we take all of this out. Ah, there's a little bit missing, so we need to move one step forward. Ah, no, wrong direction, so we need to turn right before we do that. Uh -huh. Let's try out different other values. So, 11 yeah, seems to work. 99. Whoa, what's this? Uh, I think that's a rounding error somewhere. Uh, yeah, because he's rounding these things down to pixels and, yeah, maybe. Uh, 50, yeah, that looks nice. 
All right.